stats is hard to believe you only scored seven points. So. Oh, we were. We got whipped. We, we can look at the stats all we want. They, they, they whipped us. You know, um, um, I guess it's life with a freshman quarterback, some of the things that happened. Um, you know, again, we're pretty thin in the secondary, and some things happen where you just say, that didn't just happen, did it? But overall, that has that has nothing to do with the outcome. I mean, they, they whipped us, and uh, I give them a lot of credit. You know, they're a little bit bigger than us, a little bit faster than us, and a little bit stronger than us, but they outcoached us, too. They outcoached us. I mean, they had some plays, giant chunks of yardage. Uh, you know, I'm thinking back to the ball at the three-yard line. We had them backed up the very first play they come out, and... You know, we let the ball outside us for about a 60-yard run. Uh, the very next play, we turn a guy loose in man coverage. They get about a 30-yard chunk. Uh, I think about the third down and five, we give up about a 75-yard touchdown pass. Uh, I think about the run here at the end. Uh, so, you know, I appreciate the player's effort. Um, it's my responsibility. Those things shouldn't happen. Uh, so no way am I using any excuse that uh, we were thin or we were this or we were that. We got whipped. We got whipped. And that's the reality of it. Uh, convert seven to 15 third downs, but. Yeah, we, 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 you know, we moved the ball a little bit, but we should move the ball a little bit. You know, we had, we had back to back plays where the, where the quarterback just flat went the wrong way. I think the ball was on the two yard line. Uh, the very next play, he let the clock run down to zero, the 25 second clock. And a little bit later, he threw the ball right into the hands of the opponent. You know, we had a lot of opportunities. We had, we had some opportunities on offense. We just didn't, um, we didn't execute. We didn't execute. We didn't sustain our blocks. Uh, in the second half, we blocked on the perimeter a little bit better than we did in the first half. But honestly, the biggest disappointment is we felt like coming in, we'd have a chance to run the ball up in there a little bit more, just make some dives. Um, uh, and, and they took that away. You know, they, they took the dive away. I, I give them credit. Uh, they made us put the ball on the perimeter. We made some plays. Uh, we were a little better in the second half, but but not enough, you know, not enough. Um, um, so, you know, I give them credit. You know, I, I haven't watched them before in person. I think they're a good-looking football team heading in the right direction, and uh, we're going to have to catch them. We're going to have to catch up to them. It seemed like they were intent on hit, hitting Cole on every play. On the, on they hit us everywhere. It wasn't just Cole. They, they were they were physical. You know, they, they, they played hard, and they were physical, and um, – you know, I'm not sure we responded as well as I thought we would respond. Not from an effort standpoint, um, um, you know. But we're we're gonna, you know, we're we're gonna, we're gonna get together tomorrow as a coaching staff, and we're gonna look at everything from A to Z we're doing. And we're kind of at a crossroads right now. You know, the second half of the Fresno game. Uh, granted, Fresno's a talented team, but we caved in. I didn't think we responded today. I, I didn't think we played very good today. And, um, you know, we, we, we've got to look from A to Z right now uh, as to what we're doing, how we're doing it, who we're doing it with. So we have three games left. And, um, you know, starting with me, we're, we're going to look in the mirror and just see exactly what we're doing right now because uh, we can do better than we did today. They had really nice run pass balance. Your defense back on its heels maybe a little bit? You give up big plays like we give up, it takes the air out of the balloon. You know, I mean, let's face it, you can't, you can't give up that many big plays. And, and, and survive. Um, just think of the big plays today. I mean, there's probably five just major yardage plays that they had on us. Um, different things for different reasons, um, but that it just takes the air out of you. You know, 21-7, we're making a little run in the second half, third and five, and it's a 75-yard touchdown pass. Now it's 28-7. Um, you know, so it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable, and I'm not going to tolerate it. We're going to find a way. Uh, to improve defensively before this year's over, somehow. On the 75-yard pass, uh, Devontae and Cranston Jones were in there. Were they just rotating, or did you just? Yeah, we weren't getting much out of Destry Berry. You know, I mean, I saw some plays that um, uh, we thought he had a chance to make. So if it's a young guy, then it's a young guy. You know, it's time to, it's time to compete for positions. It's time to compete for playing time, and that's just what it's going to be. You know, and because um, I'm not going to accept it, I'm not accepting this. Coach, when you watch these guys on, on, on tape, when you, when you watched them, did, were you surprised maybe they were a little, physic, a little more physical than you thought they no, would No, I thought or? they were a good team watching them on tape. They played a very difficult schedule. They played a tough schedule. Um, you know, I think us and UNLV are the only two teams in the country that play 13 straight weeks. You know, we play seven away games. They only play six, so they got a little advantage. But their non-conference schedule was very good. 
I, I look at Minnesota, Washington State, Louisiana Tech. Um, they, they played a tough schedule, and and that's a um, that's a pretty impressive looking football team. I knew that coming in, but I, I did think just from our style of offense that we could maybe run the ball up in there a little bit more than we did. So that was disappointing. Maybe a little quicker than that, quicker, bigger. Than I don't know. Better. I don't know. They're bigger. <laughs> Standing there on that sidelines, they're they're bigger. They were a lot bigger and more physical looking than we were as a team. I, I can say that. You mentioned that your team didn't respond. They knocked to the mat. They just didn't get up. You're disappointed in that. A little huh? bit, yeah. A little bit. You know, I think we felt like we practiced good, but maybe I didn't practice them hard enough. Uh, maybe I didn't practice them long enough. Um, we know we're, we know, you know, again, um, again, starting with me, you just have to look. When you have a performance like this, you have to go back and look. And, and I put it on myself. And, um, um, you know, it's, it was it was disappointing. I mean, I call it what it was. It was disappointing. Almost sounds like this is the most disappointed you've been this season. Is that, is that I, I think that'd that be right? fair to say. That'd be fair to say. We knew we knew coming in here we had some liabilities. You know, with the freshman quarterback. Um, certainly in the secondary, we've had liabilities all year. Um, but um, um, you know, I don't want to say anything too soon. But I, I you know, overall, yeah, I'm disappointed. Disappointed. Okay. All right, guys.